G'day YouTube, 1MJ here and welcome back. Well, Sunday afternoon here in Australia, probably sort of Saturday night, maybe sort of Sunday morning overseas and the elections are getting ever so close. Now I think we're going to see big moves uh, and it could be to the upside or to the downside, it's, it's hard to know, but I think something big is going to happen after the election. Once the decision's made, I think uh, Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies in general and markets full stop uh, are going to make some moves pretty quickly after. Now, here's something interesting though. Bitcoin price, it's hit 14,000. It's retraced a little bit, but exactly 12 years after the white paper was released. So the initial idea of Bitcoin, i.e. the white paper, 12 years ago today on Halloween, uh, I think it was. So the 31st, it's obviously the first uh, here in Australia, but the 31st overseas. So 12 years and... <laughs> Pretty interesting that Satoshi uh, released it on Halloween. Very interesting uh, sort of time to release a white paper. And then obviously Bitcoin wasn't released until uh, 2009. So it still took a little while for it to come out. But there we go. I guess it's kind of a happy birthday almost uh, for not so much Bitcoin because Bitcoin hadn't come out just yet. But the white paper, the idea of Bitcoin at least was finally released to the public so everyone could have a read of it. So congratulations to Bitcoin. Uh, Satoshi Nakamoto released it back in 2008. Uh, and then I'm pretty sure uh, it's done all right ever since, I think. I could be wrong. I don't know. We'll have to have a look at the charts and see what they say. All right, let's go over and have a look at the charts. Well, have a look at Coin uh, Coin Gecko first. So we can see gas gas prices continue to come down. So this is great. BTC dominance it's creeping higher again. I see this getting to about sixty five percent, if not maybe more. And I think the fourteen uh, the thirteen point eight uh, slash fourteen thousand. I think it'll probably break uh, this coming week. Now again it. it could go the other way. I could be completely wrong. I think once the election's done, and I don't think it really matters too much who wins, uh, whether it's Biden or Trump. I just think it will be more about uh, America's and the world's, more so America's than the world's, but America's reaction to whoever wins. Uh, if there's chaos and stuff going everywhere, uh, that may affect the price. I, I don't think it's really about who wins. I think it's America's reaction to who wins that will really decide the fate of where cryptocurrencies are going in the short term. Long term, I think there's only one way they're going and that's up. Uh, but yeah, if America is not happy with the uh, the winner come next week and there's, you know, some sort of chaos and riots and, you know, all sorts of stuff going on. And look, possibly even around the world, there could be other places around the world that uh, might be ha mightn't be happy with who wins or loses and you know, riots happen there as well. I think that is what will affect the Bitcoin price to the downside. Uh, if, you know, they're generally happy and there's no hoo-ha and all the rest of it, then I think there's only one way it's going to go and it's going to go to the upside. But we can see altcoins are generally still not doing so well. Let's have a look. What are the big winners? All right, so Loopring, well done. But again, they're still down 10%. Filecoin, well, looks like it's found a bottom. Maybe it's starting to, you know, make its way back now. We'll have to wait and see. Nexo is doing very well. Uh, but really, just kind of single-digit gains. Nothing sort of too extreme. And look, Ren, nice, but again, still down 15% over seven days. But what I am starting to see is that maybe the altcoins are slowly starting to find the bottom at the moment. You know, people are getting... Uh, to the despair sort of phase with altcoins and that's what makes me think it might be a good time to start looking at getting back into altcoins. I know I'm definitely looking uh, pretty seriously at them at the moment and it's not to say they couldn't go lower but I think they have all, they're have they almost at the bottom and, and I can't tell when they're exactly at the bottom so I've just got to go by my gut feeling and I think they probably are just around about at the bottom so I'm definitely considering starting to buy altcoins again. Yes, they'll probably still bleed off a little bit more but I can't pick the exact bottom uh, and they could just simply start to go up in the next day or two, particularly after uh, the elections in America and all the rest of it. But I think they're, they're definitely near the bottom anyway. So the coins that I'm into, I'm going to be looking uh, at buying some.
and we'll get into that shortly. All right, Ocean Protocol, so down, and Yearn Finance, you know, just continues to go down. It'll be interesting to see if Yearn Finance has a future uh, and just how low it's going to go. Uh, again, what was it up to 30,000, 40,000 or something? Uh, and now it's down to, you know, 10,000. Uh, and by the looks of it, still going lower. Um, you know, if it finds a bottom, I probably should, probably should do some more research on it. Maybe I'll look at getting into some Yearn Finance, but yeah, it just, it never really excited me that much uh, to start with. Uh, and really, it went down pretty quickly. So yeah, we'll have to wait and see. Algorand, uh, obviously hurting, uh, you know, again, most coins. Synthetics Network, you know, again, down 21% over the week, down 4% in the 24 hours, but up 1%. I do think excuse me, Synthetics Network is probably going to go a little bit lower, but I, I'm starting to think it's probably just about found its bottom. We'll have to wait and see. I could be wrong. And, you know, Ave, if you're really into Ave, Ave, whatever you want to call it, uh, again, it might have finally found its bottom. And this is the new uh, governance token as well, so not the old uh, Ave Lend one. But, yeah, a lot of the projects I got into are really hurling, hurting. Uh, Uniswap, unfortunately, I never got the free Uniswap. I didn't use it, so I bought some. Uh, and it's down 40% from when I bought it. So, yeah, anyway, what do you do? You win some, you lose some. I've got, um, you know, most of mine are... Uh, to the upside, but I do have, you know, probably about a third of them that are to the downside. Uh, Elrond has been going down. I'll have to look into that. I've heard some good things. And again, I think a lot of these altcoins are probably finding their bottom. Hedera Hashgraph, Kyber Network, I mean, been going down for uh, quite some time. But again, that's just the way it is. Again, Compound Finance, another big one. All these kind of DeFi players, uh, I think they are having their healthy cor uh, corrections because, you know, DeFi was the thing and everyone was jumping into it and it got overhyped and now everyone's taking their money out. And, you know, hopefully they're taking, you know, excess profits out and putting it into something and not selling at a loss. Uh, for me, I haven't sold anything yet. Uh, I'm, I'm an investor, not so much a trader. So yeah, engine coin, uh, that hurt a little bit. Uh, and they've all just been going down and down and down. But I don't think that's gonna last forever. Uh, I do think they've just about found their bottom. But let's go and have a look. All right, so number one, let's have a look at Bitcoin. Now we can see it got up to about $4,200, $4,100, uh, sorry, $14,100, uh, and corrected pretty quickly. But the trend I see here at the moment is these lows are still getting higher. Yeah, there's some ones that are a little bit lower at times and things, uh, uh, sorry, and things and things uh, at times, but look, generally, it's still just pushing upwards, but it is just getting, uh, you know, a bit of sort of exhaustion here at 14,000 at the moment, and I think people are waiting for the election. I think that's really gonna be the, the determining factor, and it is the weekend at the moment, so again, that's why we get the bit of a sell-off, uh, and people are indecisive. If there is some kind of pullback, I think you know it's maybe down to the twelve and a half thousand dollar level. Look, whether we do that or not, uh, I'm not sure, and I'm not really thinking that's what's going to happen. I think again, the institutional buyers are trying to get into Bitcoin at the moment. There's more and more news about its adoption, so I just see this continuing to go up. Can we have corrections where we pull back and again maybe come down and test this level? Sure, we could. I'm just not sure it's going to happen based on sort of any market manipulation. I don't think anyone uh, would try and manipulate this market too much at the moment, i.e. to the downside anyway. I think anything they sell would just get bought up and then they're losing their Bitcoin. Uh, so I could be wrong, time will tell, we'll wait and see. But I think we maybe travel sideways for a little bit and sometime next week, uh, once the election's done and dusted and we know who the new president uh, of the United States is, short of there being, you know, again, chaos and all the rest of it, I think Bitcoin is going to break this $14,000 level. So I'll zoom out a little bit. Taking a minute, always does. So yeah, I think we break out above this $14,000 level next week. And then we likely, so I'll just swing this back this way. Won't do it. Yeah, I think we break out of this $14,000 level, probably go a little bit above it. And then we're going to retrace back down to 14,000. I don't think we're going to retrace back to 12,500, although it is possible, just not uh, my personal opinion. I think we go above 14,000 sometime next week. Again, short of any, you know, 
craziness over in the states after the election but i think somewhere up around sort of here the 16 ish seventeen thousand dollar level then we probably have a bit of a pullback and come back uh and retest this fourteen thousand dollar level and find it and use it as support and again i'm not sure if we're going to have too much resistance at twenty thousand at all i think we might get a little bit here and again a bit of a sell-off and maybe we come back down and test this but really i would be surprised if we have too much uh resistance here i think it'll be more exuberance than anything that's not to say i don't think we might hit the twenty thousand and come back down to you know eighteen nineteen thousand or something before we push back up but you know it's quite possible that we just blow straight through it again the exuberance is really going to start once we get past here and particularly if it's not a fake out because we've you know had you know some wicks that have kind of faked out at the moment so people are still waiting to see some people will still be expecting to hit this level and then it just rolls over and starts to come back down you know that's that's the people who you know still don't believe in it and it's just funny money and all the rest of it you know basically the bears and all the rest of it but they also just want to accumulate more themselves so they're sort of bear and bulls all in one go but definitely you know people who are trying to short it anyway once it goes over this and then maybe breaks down retests it and starts to push back up and i'm talking about over here uh i think we're going to move uh quite fast in between here i don't think there's going to be too much time from when we actually break above likely come back down and retest and then we quickly get up to here i think that'll happen yeah in a matter of uh you know a week or two possibly i could be wrong could take a little bit longer but i just think we'll move very quickly in this space and then after this it's all price discovery and who knows what price bitcoin will go to after that in saying that i i don't know if i'll dollar cost average into bitcoin after here or at least for my long-term hodl my long-term hodl will be uh sort of stopping around about this level and after that uh it'll be more about trying to do some trades because you know again my long-term hodl i'll have set my position up uh, you know if bitcoin does uh not if it does when it does has its next bear market i don't think it'll come back down too much lower than twenty thousand. Look, we might come down and you know sort of test uh, fourteen, fifteen thousand, possibly even ten thousand. Who knows? But I just yeah, based on what's happened before. So if we go back and let's see if I can scale out here. So again, this was uh, its all-time high here. Went through its next cycle, and then the next low was still higher than its all old all-time high so i don't see us coming back down uh and likely testing this again but look it's possible and again we could come back down to you know 13 15 thousand and look maybe even 10 th sort of ten thousand dollar level who knows but i will you know dollar cost average into bitcoin until twenty thousand uh for my long-term hodl after that it's going to be more about swing trading and things like that i'm going to be looking for uh, you know opportunities uh, more so in the altcoins and things like that than uh, continuing to dollar cost average because uh, again after that i think you know in the more shorter term you, you know that money uh, could be chewed up uh, in the next bear market uh, and, and look that's just my personal opinion i'm not a financial advisor and i'm not really into trading and all the rest of it but i, I my long-term huddle uh, will sort of stop at this point i'll have to you know decide what i'm going to do after that and look maybe i change my mind and just i uh, continue to put into bitcoin who knows but i think after that it'll be more about the altcoins uh, and i'll be trying to find you know some good swing trades and things like that some good opportunities uh to you know make some uh cash uh and then have cash reserves waiting for myself when the next bear market starts when you know everything starts to retrace that will likely be my uh, scenario after that but anyway let's move on ethereum all right now usd it is getting oh so close this trend line has been in play for ages and we can see that we're down around that kind of 380 and we get down to you know close to the 370 dollar level and things down here this is interesting times i think in the next few days we're going to know what happens does this fall over and you know start to sort of come lower and again maybe down to sort of this 350 ish dollar level you know again i'm thinking sort of somewhere down around about sort of here because it's been here before not that long ago or 
does it bounce off this and just start to make its next move up again I, I, you know we were way up here so we've been sort of coming down for a while and now we're you know sort of ranging a little bit i do think the bottom for a lot of the alts uh, including ethereum it's either already in sort of somewhere down here and so we're starting to make our way back up or it's very close so again if we roll over here i'm thinking more maybe the 350 dollars mark is where it might come back to but look that's not to say it couldn't go lower and if it goes below 350 uh, again i'm looking more around the kind of 230 uh, dollar mark before it uh, finds some support but yeah most likely i'm thinking around the 350 dollar level so we'll just have to wait and see and, and i think it happens in the next kind of few days again you know this all kind of you know comes to a meeting point where around the 11th 12th of november so we don't have too long to go less than two weeks uh and we'll know whether we're going to break above the 400 uh or break below this trend line uh yeah hard to say what's going to happen i am hoping this holds but it wouldn't surprise me if we yeah come down and retest this time will tell all right chain link is very interesting so let's go to chain link versus btc love chain link uh bought some more a little while ago it's still uh continued to come down but i'm not too worried about that now we can see this is the line that it has used as support a couple of times used as support here broke down but quickly bounced up above it support support and now we are right on that support line now i do think it uh, is likely to possibly go a little bit lower uh, again bitcoin uh, is gonna you know chew up some of the profits but if it does break from here i am sort of thinking we're not going to come down too much lo lower i think maybe we come down and retest this low here and say so what is that 74,793 sort of sats uh, is where I expect it to go. And look, again, it could come a little bit lower, but I think it's going to find some support against BTC around about here. Who knows? Could be wrong. Again, you know, everything turns to poo after the election in the States, and then who knows what happens. But outside of you know, that catastrophic kind of stuff, I'm thinking it has just about find, found its bottom uh, and it's going to make its next move up. Now that's against Bitcoin. Again, I consider Bitcoin is going to continue to go up and this will possibly bleed off a little bit. And again, maybe get down to around about here. But against the US dollar, we can see that it is starting to move back upwards again. So, you know, Chainlink fell off here after the pandemic and then started to make its move back up. And look, it's had retracements before. Had a retracement here had a retracement here had a retracement here this is not uh unusual for chain link but the overall sort of move for chain link as we can see it is just moving upwards so against the dollar i think this is going to continue to start to move back up i think it's excuse me just going to play more of this stuff out i think it has found its bottom uh, against the dollar uh, and it won't go down uh, lower against the dollar but i could be wrong look this could get up here and again it doesn't quite get to its all old old all-time highs and then falls over uh, I, I just don't see that happening but we'll have to wait and see all right now where was i synthetics against bitcoin so synthetics right now is at a sort of key level against bitcoin uh, this was an old cycle sort of high back in uh 23rd of november 2019 then it fell off and then obviously 31st of may you know let's just say may this year uh it really started to make its uh move the end of may and we can see it well out, out sort of pace bitcoin for a while there but now it's starting to retrace and i am thinking that somewhere around about here and again maybe even down here so the 17,715 sats is probably going to be the bottom for it so again, it's probably going to bleed off a little bit more over the next sort of uh, few weeks. Uh, but I think, yeah, it's very close to the bottom. So I am strongly considering uh, buying some more synthetics uh, in the very near future. But this Bitcoin chart isn't the one that interests me the most. It is this one. So this is against the USD. Now I like to have a look at both charts. Most people like to just simply go against Bitcoin uh, and that's what they work it out. But sometimes they kind of show different things uh, and it's hard to 
you know get a gauge just based on the one chart especially you know when the alts are pumping and bitcoin's not doing anything uh you know it's better to compare it against the dollar if bitcoin's just ranging and not moving and the alts are pumping silly then i like to go against the us dollar but then when uh the other thing happens uh, and Bitcoin starts to move and then they're bleeding off I like to go against Bitcoin and again I don't use any one specifically I just like to get a gauge of the both and it like it, it helps me make uh, better informed decisions I believe anyway other people might completely disagree but this is uh, synthetics against the dollar now we can see this wedge pattern here it's just been getting tighter and tighter and tighter and tighter now it's fallen down and it has pipped right off this mark here against the dollar you can see it literally touched it and now we're waiting to see what happens does it start to make another move back up here uh, and then start to roll over or does it break below do we actually come down and test this you know two dollar sixty range and if that fails are we then likely to get back down to around about a dollar thirty i think a dollar thirty is unlikely but it's not impossible this could be the bottom right here it may not go any lower. So again, this is down at kind of, you know, the $2.90, sort of $3 level. We can see it's at $2.90 right now. Uh, and look, uh, this may be the bottom and it just starts to surge up. But I am, again, thinking of uh, building another position in synthetics as we speak. You know, if it is to fall from here, I'm thinking it's more likely probably going to come down to around this $2.60 range. So if I lose 30 cents per coin, then so be it. But, you know, if I don't get in here and then all of a sudden it ends up up here and I've lost, you know, 30 cents per coin uh, in profit uh, or 40 cents that would be there, uh, that's going to hurt more. Uh, again, I know that it's going to bottom out at some stage or at least in my personal opinion, uh, not financial advice, it's going to bottom out sometime soon. And I think it's probably going to be around here. So $2.90 to $2.60, I'm not too worried. Uh, and again, this is more long-term HODL stuff. It's not like I'm trying to do a swing trade or anything. Uh, and look, if it breaks below that $2.60 mark and comes down to uh, $1.30, yes, that's going to hurt. But I'm not looking to put in thousands and thousands, tens, fifteen thousands of dollars at this point. I don't have that kind of money. I built my long-term position back at 84 cents, so I'm still well in profit. And even if it did drop to a dollar thirty, I'd still be in profit anyway. Other than you know the couple of times I've sort of spot bought some synthetics, uh, and I bought some. Uh, I can't remember around four dollars, and then I think I bought some more at about three dollars, and literally only a few, not too many at all. So I'm thinking we're getting close, and again, following this formation of it finding a bottom, uh, and then it's starting to break out. So not buying anything just yet, just keeping my eye out. But I'm likely going to buy if I, you know, if it get back, if it gets back to around that kind of, you know, three dollar twenty ish mark. But doesn't break this uh, and then falls again then you know I'll probably you know be really keen to buy I don't think this is going to come all the way down to here I think this is probably almost at the end and it is likely to break out but I'm just waiting to see if it's going to break out to the low side if it breaks out to the low side then it will be looking at two dollars sixty uh, if it starts to make its way back up uh, and gets to again around that three dollar twenty mark again I'll likely possibly buy some more because I don't think it's going to pump above uh, and fall back down although that is uh, something that could happen you know no one really knows I'm just looking for, uh, yeah for something that indicates to me that this is the time and I'm feeling like it's very close to the time if it's not already the time but you know there's not enough of a feeling in me at the moment to pull the trigger and say yes absolutely do it I'm just going to wait another 24 48 hours to see what happens uh, again if this kind of pumps up uh, gets close to the $3.20 range and then rolls over again then I won't buy I'm really waiting to see that it breaks that $3.20 mark and if it does I think then uh, it's found its bottom and it's going to start to make its way back up but who knows it could be wrong all right, I'm not going to take up any more of your time. This has been a long video already. Uh, these are the trades that I'm looking at and the things that I'm uh, looking for. And not so much trades, uh, just looking for new buy-in points for where I see things that have hopefully hit their bottom uh, and might be a good time to get back in. Stay safe. Be kind to one another. Hopefully you're on that gain train. It's pretty uh, easy to be on the gain train at the moment if you're in Bitcoin. It's more the altcoins that are hurting at the moment. But anyway... I'll see you next time.